bring it a little closer to home. Yeah. When you look at it, when Jesus calls us the salt yeah. of the earth. Yeah. Now, I have a problem with that, Jesus, because earlier you said there are none good, none but the Father. Yeah. Now, if salt is good, what makes us the salt? What makes us good? Because you just said that we're not good. But then he said, go on down to John, and somewhere around the 16th chapter, you'll find something that makes you good. He's 
simplifies in a deeper detail who he's talking about, the call. Who are the called? This term here, called, coincides with the phrase, you know, called out ones. Yes, this is a group better known as the church. Right. Those that repented for their sins and have confessed Christ Jesus as Lord and Savior. Yes. It's not just enough to say that you love God, right. but you have to show that you love God. James said it better in the second chapter in the 26th verse, for as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith, so it's faith without works is dead. Yes, my brother and sister, here Paul the Apostle is saying those that are truly called out, there should be some validity about their calling. In other words, the things that I used to do, I don't do them no more. to be 
seated in his presence in that great day saying, Holy, 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 the Lamb of God. Here yeah, God is putting it in, in motion. Over 2,000 two years ago, he made it so. Yes, sir. And he brought about his son the tabernacle around his land for 30 and 3 long years. Yes, sir. Despised and rejected. Yes, sir. A man full of sorrow, acquainted with grief. Yes, sir. But yet it still, they marched him up the Bella del Rosa to that place called Calvary. Yes, the place called Golgotha. Yes. The place called the place of the skull. Yes. And when he got to that place,
Regardless of what they say, what they don't say, what they do, what they don't do. The recipients is for the believers only. This is not for the number. This scripture is solely for those that have came down the aisle. Those that have confessed Christ Jesus as their Lord and Savior. And believe that God has raised them from the dead. Solely for them. If you have not accepted Christ, this scripture, hear me now, will not help you. The word of God will not help you if you have not accepted his son. Come into church every Sunday yes, sir. and you have not accepted his son will not help you. Yes, sir. But it's all according to his purpose. The doors of the church are open. You need something to hold on to. Ephesians 2 and 8 says, For by grace are we saved, yes, through faith, yes. not this of ourselves. Praise God. It is the gift of God. The gift of God. You don't work for a gift. You don't earn a gift. You just accept it. And the gift is His Son, Jesus. If you have not accepted the Son, you cannot inherit the Father. You cannot. I have a son. And be honest, if you hurt my son, you hurt me. Every father, every parent, someone hurts your child, they hurt you. And your response to them when they're in need is very different. Then they're being your freedom of your child. Will there be anyone you can come by? My bed, my favorite, a candidate for baptism. You can come also by letter. Looking for a church home. You need a home on your way home. There may be someone that's out of fellowship. He said, I am married to the backslider.